Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Mathematics 9709, Pure Mathematics 3. Our topic is integration. In this lesson, we'll learn about integrating an integrand whose integral is a function of inverse tangent of x. At the top of the screen, we have two integration rules. The integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 with respect to x is inverse tangent of x plus c. And a more general integration rule is the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared with respect to x is 1 over a inverse tangent of x over a plus c. And it's the second rule that we'll use in both of our examples. Let's look at example 1, the integral of 1 over x squared plus 49 with respect to x. Algorithm step 1, identify function type. In this example, we see the general format of 1 over x squared plus a constant. Now that constant in this case is 49. We'll write in the general term a squared with respect to x. This tells us that we're dealing with an integral relating to the inverse tangent of x. So in step 1, we've identified the function type as inverse tangent of x. 2 apply integration rule. In our case, what we want to identify is the a squared. a squared equals 49. And to fit the format of the integration rule, we'll change this to 7 squared. And now rewriting the integral of 1 over x squared plus 7 squared with respect to x. Now I'll apply the second rule at the top of the screen. Equals 1 over a, in our case the a, looking back at step 2, 7 squared is a squared. So a equals 7. 1 over 7 times inverse tangent of x over a, again a is 7, plus C. We've completed step 3, include constant of integration. Step 4, there is no simplification. Step 5, there are no limits of integration, so we're done with example 1. A comment regarding the root that we're using for 49. We're using the value 7. 49 has another root, which is negative 7. In this process, we only need to consider the positive root. Moving on to example 2, the integral of 1 over 3x squared plus 5 with respect to x. Step 1, identify function type. In this case, what we see is the format 1 of something times x squared plus a constant. That constant is going to be a squared with respect to x. This tells us that the integral relates to inverse tangent. Step 2, apply integration rule. Because of the coefficient in front of the x squared term, I'm going to factor and rewrite my integral. I'll factor out 1 over 3. And I know I want to factor out 1 over 3 because the coefficient of x squared is 3. That 3 is in the denominator, thus 1 over 3. So rewriting our expression. Factoring out 3 from 3x squared leaves us with x squared. And factoring 3 out of the second term, 5, in other words, 5 divided by 3, is 5 over 3 with respect to x. Now we can identify our a squared term. In this example, a squared is 5 over 3. And a is the square root of 5 over 3. Again, we're only considering the positive root of a squared. And I'll rewrite with my a term. 1 third times the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared. a is the square root of 5 over 3 with respect to x. And now applying our integration rule, we have 1 over 3 times, using the second rule at the top of the screen, 
1 over a, a is root 5 over 3, inverse tangent of x over a, which is x over root 5 over 3, plus c, this completes step 3, step 4, simplify, we have 1 third times 1 over root 5 over 3 is root 3 over 5. Inverse tangent of x over root 5 over 3 is root 3 over 5x plus c. Step 5, there are no limits of integration, so we've completed problem 2. The integral of 1 over 3x squared plus 5 with respect to x equals 1 third times root 3 over 5 inverse tangent of root 3 over 5x plus c. We've completed problems 1 and 2. This concludes integration of an integrand whose integral is a function of inverse tangent of x.